Hello, chosen ones. So I know I come to you guys and I talk to you a lot about, you know, the problems that we face. But I also want to incorporate in here encouraging things. Not just focusing, like I said, on the haters, on the energy vampires, the narcissists, the demons, okay? Like I said, we're going to have a lot of talks about them because, again, it's not something you just hear once. You need to continuously be hearing this message because you're going to be faced with spiritual warfare until you're called home. Now, what I want to encourage you all to do is that every single morning, okay? And if you can't do it every single morning, try to do it sometime throughout your day. You got 24 hours in a day. Sometime throughout your 24 hours, incorporate some type of affirmations in your day. I like to start in the morning because I feel like how you start your day is literally going to be the rest of your course of your day. When I wake up, I say out my mouth, today's going to be a good day. I either say today's going to be a good day good things are coming my way or I say God show me how good it gets okay this is how I start my day and literally ever since I started I mean again I've always had high energy but sometimes I have allowed certain things or people to throw me off my track but I will say that when I do my affirmations in the morning and I and I'm saying it to myself I'm saying it out loud I'm not just reading it I'm saying it out loud and everything I'm saying I'm saying I am Okay, because when you are when you put the I am in front of anything, you are now calling upon God. In the Bible, God said, I am. He said, I am that I am. So anything that you put, anything you say I am and you put it afterwards, it's going to amplify that. It's going to emphasize it. Okay. And if you don't believe me, try it for try it for 15 days. Go 30 days if you can. And watch how you feel a, a big difference. Affirmations may seem dumb to some people or seem childish, but I'm telling you, it's life changing and it's amazing. We're not really told to speak beautiful and well to ourselves. We're used to talking down on ourselves and being negative and being nasty. And I mean, what type of life do you expect to have if you're constantly saying, oh, I'm D U M B or I'm. S-T-U-P-I-D. I'm not going to say it because I'm not saying that over my life, but I'm spelling it out for you guys. Instead, replace those bad words with, I am beautiful. I am smart. I am intelligent. I am wise. I am a money magnet. I am a goal setter and I am a goal finisher. I love my life. Say these positive, wonderful words over your life. And like I said, let me know what happens. Let me know what happens. Hey guys, so part two for the affirmations. Um, another thing is that, yes, affirmations are very powerful, okay? And, I, and I, I heard a person say that words are like spells. Yeah, that could sound a little bit like witchcraft. So I don't know if I want to use that. But it, it's, it's, it, it, is, it sounds pretty good to say that because, yeah like how witchcraft and stuff they do spell work and all that stuff like that and they they believe in it for it to you know so-called operate and work again i say that because there there's no power there's there's no power in hell okay not there's no power in witchcraft hell or anything that can overtake one of god's children so instead of using that example of words like spells i would say just like what scripture says that there is there is um, life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's what I was trying to say. I was losing track a little bit, guys. But life and death is in the power of the tongue. Okay? And I think that's why the person said the whole thing about spells is because what you speak over your life is very extremely, extremely important. If you walk around with a lack mentality, okay? And then you go out and you speak this lack mentality out into the world, or as us in the spiritual community say, we say into the universe. Do not be surprised when your life is nothing but lack and negativity. You reap what you sow. If you are sowing a seed, that's why, you know, a lot of things aren't making sense now that I used to laugh about when I was blind. But if you sow a seed, again, of being positive, of being loving, of being caring, of being encouraging, of being motivating, guess what you're going to get back? You're going to get all of that plus more. I 
I am now starting to see the fruits of my labor because for years, this is what I continuously put out. Even though I was being hurt, even though I was being betrayed, even though I was being stabbed in the back, okay? And Jesus is a, is a huge prime example of this because Jesus was betrayed and stabbed in the back. Look at from Judas to Peter to other people. He still loved them. He still loved them. He still taught them. So my encouragement to you all is that do not do not allow your circumstance or anything like that to put you down, keep you down, and especially don't allow it to have you speaking curses out of your mouth. It's not just about curse words, okay? It's also about poverty and lack. If you start saying things like, I ain't got no, you know, oh, I'm always B-R-O-K-E, that's what you're going to be. Stop saying that. That's what you're manifesting over your life.